Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a Mitsubishi split system. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. First things first, here's our thermostat and we have no display. Inside the ceiling here we have our indoor section and on the roof we have the outdoor section. Here's our air handler. This is the duct type. All right, here's our control panel. Air filters seem to be clean. I just want to take a peek inside here to see what's going on as far as why don't we have power at the thermostat? Do we even have power here? All right, so here's the controls on the side. Got a board. Look at this. This is actually a receiver. This thing is disconnected. I wonder if that's connected with this thermostat. This whole thing looks like a mess. Look at these two wires coming in. I think this goes to the thermostat. Might be a wired remote controller. You got nothing between S1 and S2. AC volts. So I have 120 in each leg. Nothing, nothing. And then DC voltage communication is S1, S2 to S3. And we got nothing for that as well. Let's find the condensing unit for this. Just made my way to the roof. We got three condensing units here. I can tell you right now, it's definitely not this one because this one's running. It's either this one or that one. Our electrical comes in here. No cover, it's missing. Kind of just stealing power there, all right. 1403, 1402. Hmm. We're working on 1402. I can see this one is tripped right here. In the middle it's tripped. These two are on. This is a 40, this is a 40. This is a much larger wire size than that one. I think it's these two. These are the newer contact. Uh, I think that's what it is. But let's Let's double check everything. Let's see what it is. It's gonna be the power, but this one's trip, so whatever it is, it's gotta be this one. All right. I pulled that cover off. I have a feeling it might be this one, but nothing is labeled. Let's see what we got here. Come on, meter on vault. Here's our power wires, and here's communication. Let's go between L1 and L2. Got 208. I don't think it's this one. That one's running right now. <laughs> I was hoping it wasn't one of these uh, up top. So it's gotta be this one. Let's see if that's getting power up there. That must be the one that's tripped. All right, pass it down. And set the meter to volts. Nice view. All right. All right, no volts. Cross. Yeah, got no power coming in. So something tripped that breaker. There's gotta be the condensing in it. All right, so I just reset the breaker. Do not see any lights up there. nothing full switch in full switch is in no way let's reset the meter make sure everything's plugged in I have 208. I got my meter to vault. These are the two wires coming in, line and line. And we got nothing. Wow. There's nothing. Yeah, not even to ground. Wow, okay. Alright, so here's the breaker panel. We don't have power there. This thing is on. 
We got no power coming out of there. What about this one? See, it's supposed to have 208 coming out, sending out power. So this is on. We got no power coming out. And we found a trip. This thing is bad. We got a bad breaker here. Wow. Okay. As I was messing with this, it just tripped. Just make sure this thing is still with no power. I don't want to mess with this thing. All right. So pretty much, we just pulled this back. So let's go ahead and get a new one. Make sure each of these lines actually have power. 120, 120, 120. 120 yeah yeah we actually really got a bad breaker wow all right all right went ahead and picked up a new breaker two pole 40 amp put that in the off position for now just gonna put the two wires in and clip it back on and test for power once again all right AC let's check across the volts on let's turn it on tripped so the breaker was definitely bad but i'm thinking what happened is maybe this thing was tripping out and destroyed the breaker so something tripped this thing all right let's see all right so we're going to, have to do a little bit of trial and error over here process of elimination so the breaker tripped when we reset it we heard a little noise over here this is the compressor Let's see maybe if we can maybe isolate it and see if it still trips. Just want to run that quick test because I heard that weird noise here. All right, three wires are now disconnected. Let's go in here. Look at that staying on. Compressor disconnected went inside the room just to see what's going on so thermostat does have power now but we have a blinking light and it says please wait four percent four percent huh it's strange let's see what happens all right so it's telling us we have an error code e6 and an error unit iu unit number one there's only one blower here. Let's see if I just click. Okay, maybe you can see a little better. Reset. Now we have the same thing. So the power is staying on this time because we got the compressor disconnected. And then we're getting that error code E6. E6 stands for communication error between the outdoor and the indoor. So somehow we're not talking, we don't have any communication. Let's check ohms across. E now we got a 1.4. Let's keep Lizzie this on. We got 1.1 1 .1 between those two. We got continuity between the next. 0 0.9. 0 0.8. 0 0.7. They should read the same and we shouldn't have anything to ground. If we do, that's why the brake is stripping. Oh, look at that. ground the compressor that's why it's blowing wow all right so i got the power off right now this is the subco m500 i have videos on how to use this but right now i got one lead to the casing of the motor you want to make sure that uh, you have a good connection there if there's paint maybe you want to scratch that down sand it down so you have a good ground and then i have the other one going to one what this one is gonna be you and let's see what it says 
bad. Yep, it's a bad compressor. Let's just check each thing to ground. That one's bad too. And then last reading. Got a bad compressor. That's why when I disconnected these three wires and turned the power on, it stayed on. We got a bad compressor. Yep. The megameter says it all. All right, so we're gonna close this up. We got a bad compressor here. Let's leave the power off, get the numbers off the compressor and off the condensing unit, see if we can find it.